Hey Russell Bleeder, welcome back to the channel. In the last video of this series, it's a two part, it's a two part series. Can you say series if it's only two videos? I don't know, part A, part B. In the last video, we looked at the MCG Levitico and I love this pedal. It's a Tube Screamer style pedal, but today we're looking at a different pedal by them. This one's called the Genesis and it's their Blues Breaker style pedal. Let's look at it. and another button, awesome. The stuff they pack it with is like um, birthday party, what is that stuff called? It's like, you know, when you're a kid and you try to lick it and it's very salty. What is that stuff called? Anyways, like streamer stuff, you know. Well anyways, it's very fibrous and it gets everywhere, so I don't like that. Gotta stay clean. Anyways, the pedal looks amazing. So they kind of look great together, they match, one is, I mean, I'm telling you, this streamer stuff is everywhere. We have the white one, and now we have this purple one, and they both have pink accents, and they look really good. Now, I forgot to say this in the first video, that they sent me these pedals for free, but this is not sponsored in the way that they. I have to say something specific. All the thoughts, comments are my own. I'm really just sharing these because I really love them. I actually think they sound really good, and they're unique. I was surprised. Like I said in the other video, you never know what you're gonna get when you get pedals like these, and when I plugged these in, I just played for like an hour one night and I, I was like, where did that hour go? Well, it was just me having fun with these pedals. So I actually really like both of these pedals. So there you go. Hey there, Editing Jimmy here. Just like in the previous video, which I didn't realize how crazy my hair is, I don't have a hat. Anyways, uh, I forgot to say when I was making these videos that I'm giving away these pedals. Click the link in the description. I use the site kingsumo.com. Click the link, it'll take you there. Enter your email uh, and that gets you entered to win. Plus there are bonus entries, so don't forget those. Um, I'm gonna give all three of these pedals away to one person because they just sound so good together that you, and you will hear that later in this video. So enjoy, bye. What's on the pedal? We have volume, tone, drive, the same things that we usually get in overdrive pedals. Now what's different about this pedal than the other one is that this knob up here that is transparent, if you can see that, it's a transparent knob and it'll light up. Um, this one actually will light up as, as a feature. It actually tells you something. And what it is, is we have this drive knob down here, but we also have a gain knob, a pedal with a drive and a gain, okay. Wow, usually you get one or the other. We know what volume, tone, and drive do. You can dial it in like you like it, but what this does, it's like an, an added layer of boost. It's not a separate circuit in that it's independent of the other one. It's very interactive with how these knobs are set, but this little toggle right here is a lightning switch, and if you're on the lightning switch, then it turns this gain on, and it's kind of like a boost. And so, the little feature that's really cool, and they send it in this little box, is that you can just have it on all the time, or you can purchase this separately and it plugs into it, and then you can use this as a, a boost. You can set this how you like it, have a nice crunch sound, hit that, and then you have this gain on tap, and you can dial that in and out as much as you want. It's pretty cool. The only other thing that's different about this is there's a plus and minus toggle right here, and they've already kind of gone ahead and EQ'd it for single coil and humbucker. Plus if you're playing single coil, minus if you're playing humbucker, very cool. Let's plug it up and see what it sounds like. All right, I just turned it on. I realized I need to make one correction. I was saying that the uh, lightning bolt, this thing here, is toggled on and off by this light, and actually it's not. It's actually this light here. This light just tells you that the pedal's on, and this light down here tells you if that boost is on. So I'm gonna toggle that. You can see the blue light came on right there. Toggle that back off, turn the pedal off, and the light goes off. Okay, now that we got that cleared up, I will say um, you can toggle this lightning bolt on with this, like I said earlier. If this is toggled onto the lightning bolt, then this does not toggle it back off. So you just have to turn that off and then you can turn it on and off with this. Hope that makes sense. All right, let's see what it sounds like with these three perimeters at noon. Here's our clean tone.
Uh, if you slip it over, flip it over to um, the single coil, it will add more bottom end. <laughs> So there's no rules. I mean, if you have a humbucker and you're like, oh, I need it to be less thin, and I guess you could do that. I'll leave it on the humbucker setting. I feel like there's a little more clarity there, and I'm using humbuckers. Um, let's uh, crank the volume and bring down the drive. Turn the drive all the way down. I love that. All right, we'll bring the volume down and start bringing the drive up. Back off the drive a little bit. Like I said, I'm playing way too much because I could play this all day. It's very inspiring. I love it. Now let's hook it up and see how these pedals work together. All right, let's just keep everything at noon and see what it sounds like. Here is our clean tone again. What did you think? I love the sound of all of these pedals. I think they sound 
amazing. Even this cool little thing is awesome. Now, if there was one con that I wanted to say, it would be that I, I, I wouldn't want to have to pay for another piece of gear just to access that boost. It would be cool if they just had like the little dual drive thing where you have like a, a switch up here and a switch down here and it would kind of match the the, you know, the aesthetic, the diagonal aesthetic. They've already fit so much on this though. It's not like I'm complaining, but like the Jet um, Mr. Jax, you're able to like double tap and get the, get the boost. That would be a cool option. Maybe a long press to switch the algorithms or to turn it on and off so that you don't have to, you know, have another piece of gear taking up real estate. But the cool thing about this is that you could set this the way you like it, have it high up on your board and just have this boost like way down to where that's the only thing you have to touch. That would be cool. There's several different ways you could run it. Um, this here, I didn't say in the other video, is kind of like a signature series. The guy came up with the artwork I read online. His name is Sam Gomez, so he signed it. And then I guess it's the, oh, there we go. Can we, here we go. He signed it right there. And then I guess this is maybe is just the, the pedal maker signature, because his signature is on, on both of them. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this two video series. If you did, let me know by commenting down below, like the video. If you had to choose one, which one would you get? Are you a blues breaker type? Are you a tube screamer? Are you a just, yeah, let's go ahead and grab both of these. Um, let me know down in the comments. Do you like the colors? I am drawn to, I'm kind of like in this 80s vibe neon mode. I'm following all kinds of accounts like that on Instagram and this kind of fits that whole aesthetic. So I'm, I'm digging these colors. They're not boring. They're vibrant. They're different, but they all match. I just, I love it. I love it. Uh, you can follow this company on Instagram if you want. Like I said, I'm not getting uh, paid to tell you good things about this. Uh, I just couldn't find much wrong with these pedals. These are just straightforward overdrives that give you a lot of options in a small package. So I'm rambling. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.